Hi everybody, I came across a video that was based on this article, FDA to investigate after report exposes euthanasia drug in dog food. I, a couple of days ago, posting the video, dogs, cats, humans having seizures, mentioned in that video that I posted videos on Kafka Winston World, several that dogs, cats were dying from what I always pronounced as phenobarbital. It is pentobarbital. Maybe I was pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. A lethal drug most commonly used to euthanize dogs and cats and some horses. The videos I had top on Kafka Winston World were of rendering plants. You need to really check out your vet and anybody who could believe that considering what they are putting in our food, human food, all the poisons, all the pesticides, herbicides, the GMOs, uh, coming out of these corporate agriculture farms, disgusting how they are treating the animals. The animals are so, so sick, so traumatized and they slaughter them to put in supermarkets for Americans to buy? Okay, um, do you think that the dog food that you're buying for your dog is good? I would say virtually every product on the shelves in Petco and all of these um, dog food places, you, every product you need to do research on. This came about because a woman, and this is an ABC report, you, you watch this segment, this news clip that they have embedded in this article, and they don't mention anything about vets selling your pet that you had euthanized to a rendering processing plant to process your pet into pet food, your dogs, cats, eating dogs and cats. That's what's happening. Vets who euthanize your beloved animal and you want the ashes back, they get cremated. Your vet asks, would you like us to cremate? And you say yes. And they, I hate saying this because it's upsetting to hear for so many people, but they are cremating the dogs and the cats in bulk. But your vet deceives you and says, here are the ashes of your beloved animal, your beloved pet. And it may very well be the ashes of an awful lot of dogs and cats. So nowhere in this clip do they mention anything about, hmm, that this pentobarbital that is killing dogs and cats because the euthanized dogs and cats are processed for dog food very hard to get rid of pentobarbital they don't mention that but fortunately in the article there's a hint okay so pentobarbital a lethal drug most commonly used to euthanize dogs cats and some horses um, but this rendering of pets, of dogs and cats and horses to be processed for dog food, it violates federal law. And yet the FDA openly allows it. The FDA allows dog food companies, pet food companies, to violate federal law. Here in this article it says a billion dollar. It is about a 20 billion dollar a year industry now. Companies that make a profit selling illegal, adulterated products to unknowing consumers. Well, the fact that we have unknowing consumers today, the, uh, I'm sorry, the responsibility is on the consumer because way too much information is out there and any consumer who could possibly believe that they are buying something, but that it's on the market and therefore they think, Oh, well, it's on the market, so our FDA has approved it, and it's been 
healthy for us, right? It's remarkable. Childlike thinking in adults. Our FDA is not there to protect Americans. Our FDA, just like every other corporation and company out there, is a federal for-profit agency. Our U.S. government is a corporation. President Trump is the CEO. Our, our representatives in Congress, well, they're the vice presidents and the presidents of certain departments and managers. And the board that you hardly ever see or even think about when you think about corporations, that board, Rothschild, Rockefeller, bankers, that is our government. And it operates to steal your money and to make a profit. Every agency. So, one lab, Ellipse Analytics, tested, tested foods, dog foods, tested 62 samples of wet dog food across more than two dozen brands for the euthanasia drug pentobarbital and it found in its test of 15 cans of gravy train, nine cans, nine, tested positive for pentobarbital. Nine. Gravy train is made by Big Heart Pet Foods, owned by Smuckers. Big Heart brands include Meow Mix, Milk Bone, Kibbles and Bits, Nine Lives, Natural Balance, Pup Peroni, Gravy Train, Nature's Recipe, Canine Carry, should that say oats or outs? I don't know. Milo's Kitchen, Alley Cat, Jerky Treats, Meaty Bone, Pounce and Snossages, I guess, the uh, treats. You can bet that all of these products if they don't contain pentobarbital, they're still unhealthy for your dogs and cats. So, Dr. Nicholas Dodman, Chief Scientific Officer for the Center for Canine Behavior Studies and former director of the Animal Behavior Program at Tufts University, said this, It comes from euthanasia of animals using that euthanasia drug. How is it getting into our pet food. If they say it doesn't come from dogs and cats and horses, where does it come from? It doesn't come from out of space. It is coming from your vets selling, and animal shelters, selling the dogs and cats that they're putting down to rendering processing plants where they make dog food and pet, and, uh, pet food. So, ABC, in their investigation, asked both the FDA and Smuckers questions they wouldn't answer. They asked them to do on-camera interviews. They refused. Uh, they finally asked the FDA to reconsider its ignoring them. And what they got back was they will investigate the matter and take appropriate enforcement action. Dogs, cats, they're dying. And that's our FDA. We're going to ignore you. If you press us too much, we'll just say, well, we'll investigate the matter. A woman fed her dogs Avenger, Avenger dog food. And this is how this got started. This woman's dog died. Evinger's is a dog food that, I'm looking for Evinger's in here. Uh, it's in here. But Evinger's is a dog food I used to feed my dogs. Evinger's was known to be, like, you buy a can and it was 90% meat. It was expensive. I bought it. It is very upsetting to see that it was Avengers. Avengers had the pentobarbital. 
in this woman's dog food and her dog was killed by it. But it wasn't the poison, it was pentobarbital. Um, I do want to point out that this, this is what our FDA is doing. It is allowing these rendering processing plants to break the law. Law is not there for corporations, for government officials. They can break it. The law is there for us. That's how it works. So, a 2004 report to Congress stated rendered materials were identified as, among other things, dead animals from farms, animal shelters, and other facilities. Under federal law, these are adulterated ingredients. Adulterated ingredients which are defined partly as an animal which has died otherwise than by slaughter. And if you, if you actually watch videos on these slaughtering plants, it's, it's really a good way to make people vegans. But um, all of this adulterated food, it's illegal in all foods for humans and animals. And the FDA, its own compliance policy states that, but the FDA violates not only federal law and state law, it violates its own compliance policy. We are living in the country of the lie. And because we have been unsuccessful in getting people to stop lying and stop accepting the lies, we've now hit a critical point where these lies have become so lethal Humans, animals, all suffering the consequences now. Uh, the FDA tells industry, yeah, it's a violation of law, but go ahead. We're not going to do anything. So they even wrote to the FBA, FDA uh, asking them to explain its policy, and they did not provide an answer. That's right. We don't get to know. People in mass have to stand up to this. I'm going to link below two videos. Pet Food Horror, compilation of news clips back way back in 2007. It's now 2018. And this continues. So many, millions and millions of dog and cat food brands have been recalled because dogs and cats dying of renal failure because of these dangerous poisons that they were putting in dog food and cat food. But it's not only that. I'll link below to the shocking truth about dog food. Um, here, pet food industry revealed and I'll let you listen to just a few minutes of this. I think for people who um, have lost a deer companion animal, a dog or a cat, it's important that you ask the right questions. Many people now are having their animals cremated in much the same way they're doing with human relatives and then they choose to do with the ashes they will. And I would recommend that if you're concerned about what happens with the remains of your cherished animal, that you just take care of the process yourself. In Los Angeles alone, approximately 120,000 cats and dogs are taken to rendering plants yearly. Um, and that's because of the severe overpopulation crisis. And, uh, you All right, um, you can click on the link below and watch these videos. But here, the Vernon rendering plant is where they take all of our dead shelter animals. And there's a shelter across the street from a rendering plant. All of these dogs and cats that are being put down 
they just literally right across the street. And some of these videos are very, very graphic and upsetting because you will see piles and piles of dead dogs, cats, waiting to be processed into dog and cat food. This man, he just drives around this rendering plant and you see a pile of dogs and cats. This, all of these dead animals, the ones that they're not slaughtering horrifically, the animals that just wind up dead, they pick them up, toss them into a dump truck, send them off to a rendering plant, and would you be so surprised to find that these rendering processing plants are actually selling what they process from these dead animals and dogs and cats and horses that they're putting this into our food I wouldn't be surprised at all so um, yeah it is very upsetting but you gotta check out your vet Euthanizing pets increasing as vets costs rise. That's right. Well, guess what? So many vets sell your pet and make money off of it, but they're taking your money at the same time to euthanize. And they're increasing their costs as they're getting money. They're making a profit off of your pet. Both ways. Both ways. So vets are included in the well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society, full of greed, full of me, 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 how much money can I make? And it is absolutely reprehensible, immoral, disgusting that any vet could raise their cost and not tell the owner that, hey, I'm making more money off of your pet because I'm selling it for dog food. Okay, all links are below.